this video we will demonstrate a new Windows 10 feature called Task View. This allows you to open up multiple desktops and switch back and forth among them. There are several ways we can get into Task View. First, we can click on the Task View icon. Over here on the right, we can click on New Desktop. Now we have two desktops. Another way to open Task View is to press the Windows and Tab keys to create a new desktop. If you have a touch screen, you can swipe in from the left and get into Task View. Another way we can quickly open up a new desktop is to hold on the Control and Windows keys and press the D key for Desktop. As you can see, we have four desktops open. Let's make each desktop look a little bit different. We can use the Windows, Control, and Cursor keys to move between desktops. By pressing the Windows and Tab keys, we see all four desktops. Say we wanted to move an application window from Desktop 4 to Desktop 3. We can right-click on the window title bar, and we can move it to Desktop 3. If we want to close a window, just click on the X. We could simply press Control, Windows, and F4 keys to close the active desktop. We can see here we're now down to three desktops. The Alt-Tab feature still works in Windows 10, but only on the currently active desktop. We can use the Alt-Tab to go back and forth between these two windows, but notice we don't see windows from the other desktops. Desktops 1 and 2 are missing. We can change this behavior by pressing the Windows and I keys to open Windows settings. Click on System, and then Multitasking. At the bottom, change this setting to All Desktops. Close the Settings window, and now press Alt-Tab. We can now move among all applications on all of the desktops. Let's return to Desktop 1. There's one problem with this new feature. If you turn the PC off, or it reboots for any reason, Windows 10 only remembers the number of desktops that were open. It does not remember what was open on those desktops. Hopefully, Microsoft will solve this in the future by allowing you to save your desktop configuration. Currently, there's one way you can temporarily fix this by using hibernation to turn the PC off. Click on the Windows menu button and click on Power. Notice that Hibernate is not one of the choices. Let's fix that. Right-click on the Menu button and select Power Options. Now select this link. Notice that Hibernate is grayed out and we can't select it. So what we need to do is click on this link, which now allows us to select Hibernate. Click Save Changes and close this window. Now when we click on the Power button, 
we can choose Hibernate and shut the PC down. When we restart the PC, all of the windows will be restored on the appropriate desktops. That concludes this demonstration of the new Windows 10 Task View feature. I hope that you found this tip helpful. This is just one of many videos about Windows 10 that we'll be producing. If you'd like to get a quick start, we have a free gift for you. Just click on the link below this video and you'll gain instant access to this quick reference card on handy Windows shortcuts. Until next time, I'm Dick Buchanan with Byte Savvy Computing Services.